Opening in theaters this week is the newest sequel in a popular franchise, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and here's my review. With the previous film, Ghostbusters Afterlife, Jason Ryman sought to continue the story of the famous paranormal hunters and created a funny and touching adventure that also introduced some endearing new characters. With his co-writer Gil Kennan stepping into the director's chair this time, Frozen Empire remains a fun outing with some nice character moments even without the emotional highs of its predecessor. While some elements are a little underwhelming, there's still something worth enjoying with the ghost busting here. There are quite a few storylines going on here, although the filmmaker's main interest appears to be with Phoebe Spengler. She has a solid arc of wanting to be part of the family business, but her age keeps holding her back and we see the effect this has on her. She's more of a moody teenager in this sequel, but there's still a sympathy for the character, even as one also understands where her mother and former science teacher are coming from. An interesting element comes from her befriending a ghost, which adds a further dimension to these spectral beings and how they might retain their humanity from the years of being alive. It even goes a bit into the moral decision to trap some of these ghosts, although only slightly. The humor continues to be an element that works in these movies, with a few new characters contributing some major laughs here. Kumail Nanjiani gets some of the best jokes as a man who gets roped in with the Ghostbusters, as he delivers plenty of great one-liners and reactions to everything that happens. James Axter also provides some humor spits as an engineer doing his own paranormal experiments and finding the appropriate sarcastic remarks. It's nice to see the actors from the first film yet again, although Dan Aykroyd is primarily given the most screen time in a passing the torch kind of role. The main villain they have to deal with in Frozen Empire is okay, but probably won't be considered one of the more memorable ghosts they've faced. They mostly show up to do a few menacing things, and that's it. The middle act slows down a bit as the characters argue and feel down, but things at least pick up for the climax. Kennan directs the action, especially an opening chase scene with a genuine excitement for seeing the Ghostbusters use their equipment and an understanding of the larger consequences of their behavior as they blast through New York. The filmmakers understand the appeal comes from the various ghosts and these blue-collar workers putting on their outfits and proton packs and cracking jokes along the way. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire does not rewrite the rulebook too much for the franchise, with the filmmakers primarily interesting giving the audience another enjoyable adventure, and the movie does provide that entertainment value while still understanding that endearing and funny characters play a key role in making Ghostbusters so charming. Even if a few parts drag a bit as it connects the various plot threads and takes the characters from one point to the next, there remains an interest as Gil Kennan seemed most inspired in tackling the spooky elements of the franchise. This becomes another worthwhile addition to the Ghostbusters legacy with all the hallmarks one hopes for.